Wow. Good, good evening, everyone. Thank you for such a warm introduction. Um, it, this came as a surprise to us. I was, I was about to leave the building, and they told me, you have to go to the main stage to talk about this. I've been advised two things before I start my uh, talk. Um, first one was to uh, remind me not to hold my hands in the pocket. Um, and the other one was, I just invented that joke right there. And the other one was to say uh, that our Twitter handle is at givision underscore net. <clears throat> so um, what we wanted to talk today was about site, or more specifically about site loss. Um, this, is the com this is what we do. We understand it quite well, but I just wanted to do a very qu quick crash course into site loss conditions. Uh, a lot of you might be clinicians, so you might have heard things like diabetic re retinopathy or age-related macular degeneration, but basically these are the conditions when you lose your central site. When suddenly details blur and you can't really see much, um, if you are, things that you, we take for granted every day, um, using computer, answering email, um, they become sort of very, very complicated and difficult because we, uh, the people with, with these conditions, they develop sort of central schitoma, sort of a blind spot in the middle that grows over time. Um, so if you're, you know, if you think about using public transportation or navigating uh, a linen tube, <laughs> um, this becomes almost impossible, let alone things like shopping, uh, reading detail, or even taking your medication. And this is a condition which is estimated to touch about 300 million people around the world. And, and for the most part, there is no cure. If you have an advanced stage of that condition, there is no cure from it. Um, currently, okay? And, and from, our, from our friends in Moorfields, they say, uh, no cure on the horizon too. And, and the only thing that the clinician, an op 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 ophthalmologist, when they diagnose you with a, with, this, uh, with, a, with a condition like that can do, they'll say, well, you can go to the local charity and buy yourself a, a, a site aid tool. <laughs> which is, I, I brought a couple of examples. Basically, it's the electronic magnifier, handheld, or, or, or as you see, or the, a, a desktop version, which essentially is a camera and a screen, and they're supposed to make your life amazing. But in reality, these only work at the very close distance, so the only useful thing for you to do with those is maybe read text. Uh, you cannot see around the room, you cannot see faces, you cannot watch television, pretty much nothing. Look at the prices, like this is a joke. I mean, this, you can be an app on the smartphone and, and this is the reality, this is the only thing a part of the white cane visually impaired people have access to today. And I think this was, uh, this was the reason we, we started Give Vision. We wanted to find out, can we address the problem of sight loss with technology? Okay, that was sort of like the mission in 2014. What can we do? Um, an idea was this, if we take, if you think about that sort of condition when you have a central scotoma, the idea was this, um, can we beam light into the remaining part of the, uh, into the healthy part of the eye of the patient? So if you think about sort of the scotoma in the middle, we beam from the, on the peripheral, and maybe, just maybe, we can give them ability to see details again, maybe to watch, um, to watch television, see, read books, see faces, that sort of stuff. Um, and as you do, as a startup, we got into a cramped room with some laptops, prototype, hacked things together, uh, and we hacked this. Uh, as you can see, at, at that point, it was a software based on the, on the smartphone put into a VR set, because we didn't have money to build like a proper glasses yet. We wanted to prototype the solution. Of course, we partnered with the specialists, the clinicians, the Moorfield Eye Hospital, a number of uh, great charities in the United Kingdom that helped us to find the patients to test it on and also gave their input and advice. And the result was this, and I'm gonna show you a video. Um, this is a video of Charlie. His mother <laughs> took it um, and sent it to us on the second day when they took the device to trial back home. Um, it's, it's quite telling in, in sort of, in that, that we didn't know, so we just sent it to us and that was the first reaction. You all right, Charlie? 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 What's wrong? It, it, it works. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you just yeah. really pleased? <laughs> I died. <laughs> Take it off for a minute, buddy. You'll get it wet. <laughs> 
Okay, so we were as surprised as Charlie was, and I promise you, we did not expect um, that sort of result immediately. And uh, follow that was uh, from 2015, we ran almost 1,000 uh, sort of individual testing sessions and sort of trials with about 1,000 patients. Um, today we have almost 150, 000, 150 people that took the device home and live with it. Uh, we work with a number of hospitals and clinicians in the UK, and this is just the start of a journey. Obviously, uh, we've been picked up by a media a little bit, so this is a story of the Paralympian Libby Clegg and her boyfriend Dan. Uh, she actually gold medalist from Rio this year, trying it on, and BBC picked it up and uh, gave us some coverage there too. But it shows how the device Paralympic works. Paralympic sprinting champion Libby Clegg and her fiancé Dan Powell, who are both visually impaired, well, they've been testing out the technology. We can see how they get on with it. So weird. Staying away. Dan, I'm literally like right on your face. So I've got no central vision and I've got um, very limited peripheral vision. I was reading a vendor machine from about 10 feet away. I can't do that when I walk right up to it. You can also freeze an image so you can read text. I've not been able to read like a magazine since I was a teenager. Also change the contrast and stuff so I could see things that I've not been able to see in years. Oh, Liv, she got a big spotlight no. just by her I know. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. She's kept me around over the weekend, so... <laughs> so uh, you can think of it as a, a sophisticated magnifier. The current model for the home is already shipping, Eight. TV watching, right. some of the things, uh, reading, and many people report they could see faces for the first time since they lost their sight. Dan was able to see his tattoos. Hadn't you just let the tattoo artist kind <laughs> yeah, of run just free? Yeah, just give him free roam. The software is brilliant. It, it is absolutely brilliant. Like, it was a great forward step. It's the first positive thing I've found uh, technology-wise to be useful to me and to Libby as well. And uh, Hattie's just making herself at home. <laughs> just relaxing. Uh, thank you very much for coming to see us tomorrow. Really, honestly, thank you. Oh, thank nice. you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. As you can see from BBC Breakfast video, I'm still rocking that uh, Steve Jobs black sort of turtleneck. Um, but um, I think following that, it was a bit of a so the easier ride for us. We, we've been featured on many other sort of channels and media, uh, been picked up by some investors, and, and, and the goal was there to turn this big bulky device into the something smaller. So we went to the charities and investors, one of whom ended up being the owner of Chelsea, uh, Roman. We both happened to be Russian by origin, so I would just came, Uncle Roman is that we call him. So uh, we need some money to give sight to blind people. <laughs> He, he, it was literally, this was the pitch. I mean, and his reply was, I'm not kidding you. That's, uh, his reply was, sight to blunt people? No problem. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then, uh, so, 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 so the ob so objective now is to use the components uh, for the, so we, this what you're seeing here is Lumus, um, uh, optical. This is an Israeli company developed a heads-up display technology, so we didn't invent that. But we use the components like this, which is super miniature, and it can be formed into a, a pair of shades or maybe even spectacles that are as thin as the ones you'd see today people wearing. And normally, uh, uh, normal prescription specs, but they have a screen inside, which mean, allows us to do exactly what we do now, but in a much more smaller form factor. So turning the, our ugly big VR device into something that people can wear in the street and not feel intimidated and weird. Um, so this is um, our um, this is the Site Plus Two. We'll be coming out later in 2018 uh, or maybe earlier if we can. Um, I'm coming back to the question that I raised eventually. Can we actually solve sight loss with technology? And, and, and probably the, the bad news is that we can't. It's something to do with more medicine and, and um, uh, microbiology and stem cells. But what we can do is technology can give you the pleasure of seeing the, the, the faces of your loved ones again, of, of seeing detail and clarity around you, um, it, it allow you to explore the world and read and really participate. Um, um, really making, bringing your life back into focus. And this is definitely possible, getting you back to education, to school. Technology can help with that. And in fact, we're so confident of this that we are pledging that by 2025, every single uh, person, in, at least in the United Kingdom, who is eligible for, for, um, for, for whom this technology would work, 
will be equipped with one of those what we call sight prosthetic devices. And the way we think about this is just the way how hearing aids allow to maximize the remaining hearing for the, uh, the deaf people or uh, people with, de uh, with, with hearing problems, we can maximize the remaining vision for people and give them hope until one day the cure is developed. And this is what we do, and this is our pledge, and thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today. Thank you. Thank you.